Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Martin with The Contoured Chemist. It's shade of the month time. So this month, the color is called Kiss. It's an eyeshadow. I'm gonna do all the comparison swatches. We're gonna talk a little bit about warm and cool eyeshadow shades because I've been getting a lot of questions over that lately. And of course, we're gonna do an eye look. So if you wanna check it out, please keep watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. And thanks for being here. Okay, friends. It's February. Yay! Did anyone else feel like January was like the longest, shortest month ever? It's like, <laughs> I'm like, how is it already February? And yet, what did I get done in January? whole lot of nothing. So I'm ready for the restart. I'm ready for February. Okay. With February comes a new shade of the month. So if you don't know, Saint has this year gone back to shades of the month, meaning there's one shade that's limited edition released every month. You can only get it during that calendar month. So for February, you can only buy the shade Kiss. And it's funny because I totally predicted they're gonna pick the color Kiss for February. Get it? Kiss February. I thought it was pretty genius. And I was excited because this was my favorite shade from the entire advent calendar. Here she is. I feel like she's deceiving per usual. I love this color. I've I've done, I've shared, I've talked before about how I think this is like the La Cienega of eyeshadows. Um, it's like the most beautiful peachy pink. If you guys don't know, I'm obsessed with these kind of shades that you can wear really lightly for just a wash of color and get like a very subtle goldish shimmer or ones that you can build up and get pigment. And you see that gold shimmer? I mean, obviously, if you guys are new to this channel, you might not know. But those OGs, you guys know, I have a thing for gold shimmer, whether it's on my cheeks, which I'm wearing La Cienega today, lips, eyes, give me all the gold. So for comparison, La Cienega is definitely a little bit more on the pink side, but when you compare the swatches, it's like, you see that gold shimmer? Sunshine State, La Cienega, Kiss eyeshadow. Okay, I know those aren't eyeshadows, but they pair so well with this color when you use it on the eyes to pair it on the lips and cheeks. So I don't have anything on my lips. So there's a little sunshine state. If you love gold shimmer like I do, I promise you're gonna love this shade. Let's do some comparison swatches with actual eyeshadow. So just like how you can do light swatch for gold shimmer, heavy swatch for more pigmentation, my, one of my all time favorite shades is very similar and it's Tawanda, okay? So this reminds me of like peachier, more towards the orange realm and Tawanda's more pink. But both of them, so here's Tawanda lightly. You can see gold shimmer, a little bit more pink, and then heavy swatch, you get more of that pink, okay? I rarely wear this shade super heavy like this. I usually just do a wash, and when I mean a wash, that's using like the eyeshadow brush, picking up some on the edge, and then just doing like a light wash of that shimmer. So you see the shimmer, you just don't see so much of that pigment. So you can get the same effect from this. And if you do build it up, you're gonna get more of that peachy tone. So peachy tone, probably closer to more of like Tropicana, if you like that as a lip and cheek, With if you don't like the shimmer. But that tone, that's more in the warm category. So one of my favorite more warmer tones this is Crush, and you can see how much more, 
like this is just a little bit darker. It's less peach. There's Crush. So you can see this one's a little bit brighter, more coral, uh, less what I call peach, got a little bit more warmth in it. So it's a little bit towards the orange spectrum. Now I'll put a color wheel here, here. So you can see the difference between warm and cool. I feel like I've been getting so many questions lately on what's warm and what's cool. As always, I categorize all the shades. Um, I have a separate category just for the advents. And so this is definitely more of a warmer color because pink and orange are warm colors. Now pinks can pull cool if it's a say purple undertone, okay? Purple's in the cool, whereas pink is in red is technically warm. But I feel like pink is that color that's like on the borderline. You can have purple undertoned reds that can totally pull warm or cool. And I feel like those are all in what you pair them with. And it can easily kind of like pull one way or the other, or it can pull one way or the other depending on your skin tone and if you're cooler or warmer. Okay, so just putting it up to all of our current shades, you can tell it's not really close to anything. Like we have a lot of shades that are not necessarily at this depth and definitely not shimmer. So I'd say Claire is one that's maybe similar in depth, but it's a matte shade, so it's not very close. Um, here is Claire. You can tell it's much more of a pink undertone. This has still got a lot more warmth in it. One that's very deceiving online is Moscow, which kind of looks like they could be relatively close, but Moscow is much more red. Can you t see that? This is much more pink to peach, and this is more orange to red undertone. Okay, and it doesn't necessarily have that different shimmer. Sometimes our colors are shimmers, but they have more or less like the same shimmer as the pigment, whereas this one has a different pigment and it's got more of that foiled effect because it has an gold shimmer. So it's got a warm shimmer since that's gold um, in a different color. Does that make sense? Which is why I immediately compared it to Tawanda because Tawanda and Kiss both have that gold shimmer and a, most of our colors aren't like that. Um, our, we have some lip and cheeks that have that gold in them, but more or less, most of them just have like that same shimmer as the pigment. So. If it's a red shimmer, it's if it's a red pigment, it's got red shimmer, not gold. So comparing with some more of the coral tones, this is Havana. Again, kind of same color family since it's coral, but this one is definitely matte. And you can tell just how much more peach that is and how much more pink this has in it than a shade like that. And then you compare it to more of their very warm undertones. This is Leo. Again, much more orange, not so much of that pink. So Tawanda is definitely the most pink. This is kind of like a mix between, I'd say, if you took one of these, I don't even know. You'd have to like add peach to this color to get to that color. See how we don't have anything like it. Like there wasn't anything really close, which is why I love this shade so much. La Cienega is one of my favorite blushes. And so when I saw that, I was like, it's so pretty. I feel like it's just prettier than even, than even the 10 looks. And I know some people like to wear eyeshadows. 
um, to kind of lock and load their blushes, this would be a very good choice for that. Okay, so if you don't really like the dewy look, but you want that shimmer, you could totally put on a shade like this on top of your cream blush. Not if you don't like the shimmer, if you don't like the sticky feeling, if you don't like the really dewy, but you still want it to catch light, maybe you are oily, this kind of color is perfect to kind of set that with, and yet you're not gonna lose that luminosity to your skin. So there's not a whole lot of eyeshadows I would probably use on my cheeks, but this is one of them. Oh my gosh, is that not so pretty? It's so pretty. Just keep loading it up. So if you love a glowy cheek, can't stand the feeling, maybe you can't get the pigment you want, Maybe you want that golden glow of Sunshine State, but Sunshine State is just too sticky for you, or you just are too oily, or it doesn't have longevity. Anytime you need a better longevity, creams and then topping with a powder to set it is going to help that. So you can use this over it, and it will just kind of keep that same undertone, but lock and load it. Keep the shimmer, I love the gold shimmer. So whereas last month I showed you how to use crimson on your lips, I mean this one technically you could, but I feel like it's so similar to some of our lip and cheeks that I wouldn't necessarily put this on my lips. I feel like it works better as a blush, but you could if you wanna make like La Cienega Matte, you could put this over that and it's gonna mattify it and give you the exact same color payoff. Does that make sense? But if you like, I mean, I'm the opposite. I want gloss on my lips. So this, I wouldn't necessarily put this on first and then top it with the gloss when we have a very similar gloss already. So I hope that makes so, sense. One of the questions I've been asked the most lately when it comes to eyeshadow is, how do you know what, what colors to use? How do you know if you're cool or warm? And if you've been following me for a while, you probably know that I highly recommend balancing your look with both cool and warm. But the easiest way to find out what looks best on you is to try both. So I shared a reel using this color. This is a warm color as I just established, both a warm and a cool mid-tone matte for a nice two shade look, and then comparing the two. Honestly, the easiest way to figure out what you like best is to do a similar look with two different colors. So if you don't know, I always recommend a mid-tone matte for your hood, for your crease, all right? So that can be a four to four five shade, meaning in my category system, it is matte, so it's not gonna increase the look of texture, and it is darker than my skin tone so that it can actually carve out my crease, give me some shadow and dimension there so it's not just one color all over, right? So in that reel, I showed Bubba, which is a warm undertone matte, versus London, which is a cool undertone matte, both about more or less the same depth. And so when comparing the two, you can visually see one, what blends out on you best and what looks off. Visually, you might not have a preference. You might love both. You might be able to wear both equally and not be able to notice. You might have very neutral undertones. I find the easiest way is if you're doing that comparison and one you like and one you don't, you have a preference. Some people don't have a preference. Some people might think, one makes them look washed out. Some people might think one makes them look orange or make their eyes look red or just looks off. In my opinion, you will have a preference. If you don't, then don't worry about it. You can probably wear anything, but like it's more of a personal preference because I do believe everyone can wear both but they might not be able to wear them in the same way. So like if you looked at my example, Bubba for me went on easily. I didn't have to work hard to blend it. I could do 
that in two seconds. Lullaby, on the other hand, didn't blend and I needed a warm shade to help it blend out. Um, and so I was trying to not use one and it was more difficult. If you're finding that case one way or the other, then that tells you, okay? So I'm warm, so that's why the warm shade is very easy for me to wear. When I wear all cools, I personally don't like it and I have issues with it blending. So I have to add that warm shade. Even with troubleshooting with clients, I find some people who have either gotten their colors done or thought their entire life that they were cool, find they still have issues wearing all cool shades even though they believe that's what they should be wearing and adding in that warm shade, they might not think it's gonna look good, but it adds balance. And so I'm always trying to teach you guys how to assess what's happening on your eyes or what's happening on your face. And if one way is not working, if you have to look at my cheat sheet, my categories, being like, okay, well, I used this shade. This is cool. That's not working. Sarah says, try using a warm shade to blend it out. Pick a warm shade, try that. If that works for you, then you might need to just work on balance, okay? And so that has to do more with the shades you're picking, not picking all of one category, um, not picking all cool or all warm, but kind of using one shade warm and one shade cool. Some people have a very strong preference over what shades they use, and some people have no idea what looks good on them or what they want. The first thing is preference. If you have a preference, stick with it. I think the second thing is if you can visually see what looks good on you or what is working, AKA blending. And when it comes to eyeshadow, blending is so important. And if you get bald spots where you're trying to blend and you it's patchy, yet you know you primed well and you fully powdered your entire eyelid, yet you still have trouble blending off a nice powdered base, it's a color issue. And some people like me, just can't wear all colors in the same way. Okay, so enough with warm and cool. Let's build an eyeshadow look and see what works, all right? So first of all, we know this color. This color is a given. When we're building a look around Kiss, this color is like a two, three, depending on how you build it up, how you wanna wear it. If you wanna wear it really lightly for a really nice natural daytime look, then you'd be able to go a little bit with a lighter shade in the crease. If you wear it at this pigmentation, you're gonna need a four to four five shade in the crease so that you have contrast between the two, right? So since we know this is our shimmer, we know it's going all over the lid, we can then pick what our crease color is gonna be. All of these are those two to threes, all those shimmers, all those mattes are too light. We're gonna be going into, going into this side, which has more of our four and four five shades. Okay, so since this color isn't what I would consider neutral, even though I think this color will pair with so many things, like I showed it with a more purple shade with Lullaby on the eye and it still looks beautiful um, because those are kind of close to each other in their color family, I wouldn't necessarily consider, I, but I wouldn't consider this neutral. It's not a form of brown, um, whether warm or cool, it is anywhere close to brown, okay, right? So when I'm choosing a color, if I'm gonna do a two color look and I have a color on the lid, I'm gonna stick more neutral for the crease. Now, how neutral you go is completely personal preference. Would I pick something super close in the same color fam family? No, I wouldn't. Because when I'm going with in the same color family, I'm not gonna get much contrast, am I? I might see a little bit of shimmer on the lid, but when I pick the same color family, it's almost gonna appear all one color. So we're trying to avoid that so that's why I tend to look at color family very closely. And when something is color, I'm gonna go 
not in that color family. So we're gonna kind of skip these oranges. We're gonna go something more neutral. That doesn't mean we can't go, we don't, ha we don't have to go a neutral brown. We can easily go a warmer brown or a cooler brown. So let's try two different ones just so I can show you another comparison and I'm gonna go extreme. So we're gonna go very warm on one side with butterscotch, not orange undertone, like not this much, but still in that neutral category, just not super close in the same color family. Does that make sense? You just don't wanna get too close. So we're gonna do one with butterscotch and we're gonna do one with bird which bird is a more, I consider it more of like an olive undertone. It's got a, a touch of green in it, but um, it's more on the cool side. So let's just try one on each side. I'm gonna start by just taking my mid-tone mattes and we're gonna carve out the crease. So we're gonna do butterscotch on this side and we're gonna do bird on this side. Okay, so we've got bird and we've got butterscotch. Can you see the difference? How this creates more of like a shadow effect? That's because shadows are more naturally cool than warm, right? Natural shadows tend to be more gray based. So this one's warm, it's kind of opening up my eye more and this one's kind of closing it a little bit just because it's adding more depth. Does that make sense? Very personal preference. So you might be able to wear two completely different colors and like both in different ways. You might be able to wear um, some cools and not like other tones on you. If maybe purples don't blend, but ones with green undertones, which are also cool, blend better, okay? But you don't know until you try them. See what you like. Reference is always first. I'm gonna start just by using my finger so I can get a good amount of pigment and just pressing that on the lid with Kiss. This shade can be so neutral. Like I feel like you can apply very little of it and it does not pull coral. Like I can just see shimmer on the lid. It's catching light and it looks really beautiful. Just two color look, very easy or you can build it up and get more. So very similar to how I always use Tawanda and Crush. I feel like these colors are more versatile when they're like this because yes, this is a warm shade, but it pairs really nicely with both warm and cool. Oh, as little or as much as you want till you can see that color on the lid catches light. As usual, you can stop right there. I feel like this is a great two color eyeshadow because it looks good with both and you don't necessarily need to pair it with anything. You don't necessarily need to add a lot to get it to look good. I mean, it's just like a little bit goes a long way. That gold shimmer catches the light beautifully and you can easily get a very easy daytime look. You guys know me, those are my favorite to wear. A beautiful shimmer on the lid with a nice matte in the crease and I can switch up the matte every day. Like a different look every day, very easily. All right, but we can't stop there. We gotta step it up a notch. Let's see how we can create a couple of different eye looks by picking different outer corner colors or liner. So. Let's do the easiest first. I'm gonna brighten real quick. Sometimes when I can't decide, I'm like, okay, I, I'm just gonna use my neutral brightener. So I'm picking Drift. Drift works for my skin tone. I can use this with 
literally any eye look and it's gonna work for me. I don't feel like I need another, a lot of options when it comes to the one shades. So there we go. Okay, that was the easy part. What shades should we use for outer corner? Oh man, I feel like I could do so many different things here. Okay, first things first, because I already have a color, I have one color and a neutral. I'm probably not gonna go super bold on the outside. Like blue, for example, I probably wouldn't pair with this tone because what do you think that's gonna, it's gonna pull orange out of it when paired with blue because they're contrasting, right? So like the more you contrast the two shades, like complementary colors are those that are across from each other in the color wheel it's really gonna pull that color that way, right? It's not gonna look pink next to blue, it's gonna look orange. Where you might be able to use a tone that is got those undertones of other colors, but I wouldn't probably pick a strong bright color with something that can pull a strong color. So if this is could possibly pull orange, if you're wearing it at full pigmentation, I probably wouldn't wear a like bright purple, or bright blue or bright green because you're gonna really see the colors, right? So yes, I paired it with Lullaby, which is a very subtle, it's a purple undertone and it looked beautiful. So looking at our colors, some of these bright colors I might not pick, but some of the more subtle ones that just have the undertone of those of those colors so a slight blue undertone or slightly green that don't pull a bright green on the eye probably wouldn't pick something bright purple but something dark with those purple undertones or dark with a little bit of burgundy or red undertones those can totally work with something a little bit more colorful just avoid pairing two super colorful shades. I feel like that's the number one thing I hear from my eyeshadow matches is nothing too bright. This color is not bright, especially when you're wearing it with neutrals. It looks very beautiful paired with neutrals. So this side we have two warm colors. I'm gonna pick something a little bit more colorful that pulls towards the cool category. And then this one, we've got warm and cool. So I'm gonna pick something warm to kind of help blend out a little bit here since I have warm undertones. So we're just gonna pick two nice deep dark shades. Kin on this side, cocoa on this. Okay, cool, warm. Smudge brush and I'm just going to tap it in and tap it on until we're happy. All right, so there we go. We've got Ken and Coco. Both of them look really beautiful paired with this color. I'm just gonna finish off the look with liner. Um, and since I got some colors going on here, we're just going to keep it simple. Black liner, and I'm gonna set it with my ride or die liner setter color, which is cold, which is just like a deep, cool, um, kind of charcoal, not jet black, but nice and dark and deep. Okay, friends, there are both the looks with Kiss. I'd say once you add that outer corner, an eyeliner gets a little bit more dramatic. So. Stop where you want or 
just do a couple of shades for daytime and then you can easily add to it for that date night look, the drama, the event, whatever the case may be. I hope that was helpful in choosing shades to go together. I'm obsessed with this color. Like, I would love to hear what shades you'd like to see it paired with because I do feel like it could go with so many colors. It's all in the combination. I say that all the time, okay? When in doubt, go with a neutral, okay? We had some neutrals, warms, and purple. Like, who would have thought, right? And then over here is more neutral, and it still looks good, right? So, like, sometimes don't overthink it. Sometimes I just pick the colors I love and try it, and sometimes I'm shocked at how amazing colors go together that you would never expect. Experiment. Try different colors. If you don't have time to experiment and you just need to get ready for the day, neutrals. When in doubt, neutral. Pair it with a neutral. All neutrals go together. If you're needing help with Saint, your 3D foundation, Demi, or even needing an eyeshadow match, I do custom eyeshadow matches as well. I will put that in the drop box below the video, also in the pinned comment. I don't match people to the limited edition shades, but if you are looking at this color and you're like, what can I pair it with? Just there's places where you can type that in, say, I wanna know what I can pair with Kiss, and I'll make sure I can include some of those as well. They're custom, so let me know what you're looking for. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next week. Love you.